Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a second video that demonstrates lemon point of sale. I'm going to write an L and Easy Stroke will bring up the program. I've got to sign in. I'm going to go over to there to that area of the screen and I will put in uh, P and P and that should sign me in. And now I can start operations with a control N. And as soon as I do that, it asks me to put money in the drawer. And now I'm up and running. I can begin putting in stock. I can go either up here to this part of the screen or I can put in stock over here when I pull up all of my icons or I can use a barcode scanner or instead of putting in numbers up here I can put in two front brake pads. Two front brake pads. And it pops up. If I hit this twice, I can increment. If I go over here, I can decrement and get rid of them. I can print a ticket after I have made an invoice by accepting cash. Uh, I'll take $500 and now it says we're going to print an invoice. I want to print a PDF file and I want that PDF file to be printed on my desktop. So I can quit After this has printed, here's what the invoice look like. I don't have it adorned in any way. You can add pictures and put in more detail. It does not say I notice how the person paid. when we quit the program we can also get an end of day report and the end of day report I'm going to put on the desktop it takes a second I think try hitting quit again. There we go. Print. Yes. And now we'll look at my end of day report. And that's a balance. Show a little bit more squeeze the configuration program these are all things 
up here in this menu which are also available on the list on the left uh, that I find that a little bit confusing to have multiple locations to do things I'm configuring the shortcuts here you can change them all around in fact you can print out a list afterwards and once again I'm going to print to screen with a PDF file and you could actually print this out and make yourself a list to go by We'll go to that in just a minute. There are so many ins and outs on this program, but they're all pretty self-explanatory. Here's our shortcuts. these are the standard ones that are built in presumably the favorite ones from the guy who wrote the program uh, I am going to assume some of these are mnemonic and others you just have to remember of course you can reconfigure everything yourself to your own liking 